so moving on to the next point uh, what is the total cost of studying without funding for one year tuition fees it changes every year but you can say your uh, part and then what is what are the other funding opportunities apart from scholarships like part time jobs teaching assistant student assistant etc yeah uh, so uh, okay so so the tuition fee was 16000 euros uh in 2019 per year uh, yes per year that was per year cost uh and living here approximately cost 900 euros a month or uh, like it will be tight if you are 900 if you if you take it to 1000 per month then you will be comfortable okay so we will discuss in details about the living in the next video and now we'll focus only on the teaching assistants and this kind of related to studying and part time okay. jobs sure so yeah about part time job uh you can work in uber like as a delivery person which is very common here and they pay good money i would say it, like you can earn more than a technical internship to be honest you mean like uber eats right uber eats yeah yeah okay. and there is another food delivery called twist bazaar which is netherland based the local one local one but it is very popular uh it's more popular than uber at the moment here and it's it's, it's older than uber as well uber is more recent and also so, in where i am staying now valkenburg we have only the twist bazaar okay. and there's no uber uh delivery that also we don't have here but okay. it is there in some parts of netherlands okay okay yeah so um yeah so 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 it's because of that this is very common and a lot of people do this as well so it's it's pretty easy to get in these places even without dutch uh yeah even without dutch like i don't know dutch i tried learning i did a couple of courses but uh i uh, couldn't uh, i mean i learned and then i forgot again because i was busy with the coursework uh yeah so uh, in uber as well as twist bazaar you can earn about uh, 10 to 15 euros an hour and uh, you can also do mcdonalds which uh, which are like lot of internationals do that and um, here i have not seen that very commonly but it is possible you can apply and they pay around 11 12 euros an hour so in that range i think it's pretty decent um if you are doing a student ass- assistantship or te- uh, research assistantship i don't know anyone who ha- who is doing a ra but i know people who are doing ta and their university pays you 14 euros an hour uh but you can maximum do it for 20 euros a week uh, sorry 20 hours a week you cannot do it more than that and uh, uh also uh, i like people like professors don't really need you to do 20 euros they generally will tell you to do 12 to 15 euros and not more than that but with these like uber or uh, mcdonalds you can earn as much as you want there is no upper limit uh, on at least on uber and twist bazaar there is no upper limit on mcdonalds i don't know because in uber you are employed as a uh, like a entrepreneur yourself like who is collaborating with uber but with mcdonalds you are an employee so as soon as you become an employee you become a working personal and there are some visa issues issues come up and then you can probably maximum do 20 hours but i don't know because i don't know anyone personally who is working in mcdonalds but i know they hire people uh, so yeah this is the whole tara and uh, part time you can do internships which many of my friends are doing right now i have a friend uh, with whom i also have a video in my channel he is a he's a he's from iit so he uh, is doing an internship like he just got it about 2 weeks back in philips and philips is one of the biggest companies in netherlands and he gets paid 900 euros a month which is pretty high as a as a intern uh, in netherlands as also in europe like if you don't take finland and switzerland and all those countries yeah. is high. is it after taxes 900 euro no, or it's no, the cross no taxes for him it's the, oh, okay. like in in account 
makes money. Uh, so that he earns pretty well. Another very big company in Netherlands is ASML, but they do not have computer science position as far as I know. But there also you earn around 800 euros a month, 800 plus minus like 8 to 800 to 850. And I have a friend who is earning that money, though he is from applied physics. Uh, this is like the internships you are talking about, right? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. These are in internships. Uh, and you can apply in internships almost any time of the two years program. And if it is approved by the university, so it will be a three party uh, agreement with you, the company and the university. And if the university agrees and this internship is in line with what you are studying, then you get 15 credits for doing this, which is equal to one quartile effort. Uh, so, so if if you so if once this agreement is signed and you successfully finish your internship, it has double advantage that you are also getting credit, so you don't have to do courses, which which is generally more effort, I would say. Uh, all but rather you are working, so you're getting some uh, industry knowledge, which is helpful if you are planning for a job, and you're also earning, so which makes things um, easier uh, for living wise. So that's good. And apart from these good companies, uh, you can get internships in other smaller companies as such, which which pay you around 400 to 500 euros. But uh, yeah, not not more than that. It generally, it's within 500 euros. So is it like you're talking about the some startups or uh, small companies like? I mean, uh, any, anything which is, which is not a popular name. Like if you open LinkedIn and search internships, you might get many. But Philips, ASML, these are like big names. Um, or if you are like if you if you can go to Amsterdam, like up and down, they have companies like Google and uh, I think uh, Spotify, not Spotify, or Uber, like the actual Uber. Or maybe Booking.com. I don't booking, know. Yeah, Booking pays very high. I, heard. I, I have heard that. That's why I asked. Booking pays crazy money, <laughs> but I don't know anyone personally who is doing it. I, I know like some postdocs from TU Delft because okay. they had experience. They had finished postdoc. So their gross salary was in the range of 80,000 to 90,000 euro, which most people don't believe, but it is true. So they finished postdoc, not like the, after you PhD, mean, they did one year postdoc and then they applied for the. Okay, that's like a long timeline, but they, that, that means that is before tax, right? 80,000 before tax. That's the gross. So. I mean, once you calculate the tax, obviously some many, much of it will be chopped off, but still like. Yeah, about like 50%, but even then it's high. Uh, okay, yeah, that's interesting. I, I heard that, but I never did my own research. I also don't know how they're paying that high being, being a housing, being in housing sector. Uh, they, they like, they pay more than Google and Facebook for somehow. Uh, that's what I heard, but I don't know anyone personally. I didn't, I didn't do my own research. I actually ignored that company thinking, okay, who, who will go there? Uh, so, uh, so what do you think? Like, uh, I mean, this question, I don't think it makes sense, but many people ask it like, so according to you, what do you think? Like, is it like easy? Like there are a lot of abundance of data science companies. If someone is looking for internships, not specifically jobs, but only internships. Uh, I don't think so because uh, I have like in one year the n number of people I have come to know so far um, actually a small number of them has an internship right now like a proper company internship uh, and again a small number has TA and RA positions not a few many and to get a TA RA you should be scoring eight or more ideally the more the better um, to be considered for a position so if you if someone you have applied and if someone who has got a nine or ten also has applied then he they will get it and generally those positions are quite less and but you can start applying quite early like right now you can apply for q3 uh, internship positions so uh, so it's not necessary that you uh, that you can only do it after first year or something. I can even do it after Q1 of first year or Q3 or Q4. And I know people who have done that and even you get uh, positions like that. So, but the main idea is if you, for the, for the role you're applying for, you should see that 
have you scored good enough in that so that makes them believe that yeah you can actually be a ta and help people understand something if you are scoring less then then they are not going to trust you like how will you teach another person if you didn't don't understand it properly so yeah and internship wise it's not easy i would say because these philips and asml these are like one one person i know who are in one one positions and i applied in many i didn't get but also i am not applying seriously because working is not my final goal uh, more on this later but uh, so just the, the the blank truth is i didn't get in any of the internships but i also didn't optimize my uh, cv put effort in that i am just casually applying and while casually applying i didn't get in any one so so yeah that that's something to be kept in mind yeah okay so just connecting to the internships like you already mentioned the name of the companies but uh, so does the internship also help like transition your internship to a job uh, yeah. based on what you have heard from people like uh, when they are looking for job in the data science yeah yeah uh, so i don't know like i my my maximum my biggest circle consists of people who are in my batch so none of them have gone to the job level yet uh but they are in the internship level but i i am hearing them talk about converting this internship positions position also into a master's thesis if possible and then to a job later on um uh, and but university generally suggests that you cannot do your internship and master's thesis from the same company on the same project um uh, but there are ways around that you have to talk with the examination committee and few important people and if they agree you can do that uh, but in general you are not allowed to do it on the same place but uh, if you have done good enough performance or if your master thesis was really good suppose you are doing a master thesis in philips and it did it really good and chances are high that they will uh, ask you for a permanent position in the company and both of my friends who are in philips and asml are looking to uh, transition in a full role later on in those companies because yeah they are good companies they pay well so uh, it will be good uh, in in the long run for them yeah okay